The first new feature is Cameo integration with PowerPoint Live. Cameo lets you insert live video feeds into your PowerPoint. I have a full deep dive on that in the upper right if you want to drill in. I'm just going to quickly add Cameo to this deck and then show integration with PowerPoint Live. So I've got some slides here in my solar system and I can go to the Mars slide here. I'll go to the upper right and choose insert and way over on the right is Cameo and that's going to insert this live video feed. So I'll click Cameo and down here it inserts the video feed. And I'm going to drag this up here and hey there I am in that live video feed. Now I'm going to go and change the shape of this to a circle. So we'll make that a circle and now I'm going to drag this and make it go right over Mars. So when I get to this slide, it's going to have this nice overlay of me in the Cameo video. Okay, now it's all set and I'm going to save this PowerPoint deck. Now I'm going to join a meeting and show how this looks like in PowerPoint Live. So let's click join. Now I'm here in the Teams meeting and I'm going to share that Cameo PowerPoint deck. So I'll go to click share and I'm going to browse my computer and upload that deck. Okay, Solar System Cameo, I'll hit open. Now it'll upload this into Teams. PowerPoint Live. Now I'm in my PowerPoint deck and on the bottom I'm going to navigate the slides. So we'll go through and go to the next slide. And now I'm going to go click on the slide where you can see here this little cameo overlay. And if I click on this, hey, here I am in Mars overlaid. If I go here on layout, I can choose standout. And now I've popped out of Mars and into standout mode. I can go here and say content only. Now I'm disappeared. If I want to bring cameo back, I just choose cameo. The second new feature is the ability to edit notes on your slides in real time in presentation mode. So I'm going to go and start my slideshow here and choose from beginning. Now I'm going to hover down here and choose the three dot menu and I'm going to choose show presenter view. Now I'm in PowerPoint presenter view. Historically, the notes right here were read only the entire time, but now I can just click in here and I can add something. So hi everyone. And I've added, my name is Mike Thompson and today I'm going to talk to you about etc. So you can now edit in real time and type anything you want and you don't have to exit the slideshow. So that can let you in real time tweak things if you have notes on the next slide or other things that might be going on. Now you can tweak and edit those notes. The third new feature is that we've added 25 new dictation languages into PowerPoint. A lot of people don't know that on the home tab here over on the right there's a dictate button. And if I drop this down, you're going to see a bunch of new preview languages. So we have over 25 new languages, and this is high grade speech to text. Just to give an example of how this works, I've chosen English here. I'm going to click on my title right here, and now I will choose dictate. Now I am dictating directly into the PowerPoint title. I can dictate into the body as well. So we've expanded dictation languages and we've added 25 new ones and they are all in preview right now. Give them a try. The fourth new feature is the ability to add a captions file directly into a PowerPoint video. So I have a PowerPoint video right here. I'll click to select it and then on the context tab choose playback. You're going to see this new insert captions option and this is going to let me choose a VTT file. So I'm going to click this here. And I've got a captions file already created. This is a search coach auto generated VTT and click insert. Now it's added that little captions file right here. So now I'm going to go into the video where there's a person talking. And so I'm going to hit play and I've got the captions enabled. So let's hit play. Figure out if sources are credible, but in reality, um, even at the So now you've got the captions right there on the video automatically. I can click this to hide them if I want and turn them off. So really handy to make your videos in PowerPoint more inclusive. The fifth new feature is a small one, but quite handy. So let's say I have a set of slides here that I'm going to hide. So I select slide two and slide three, and I'm going to right click and choose hide right here on that menu. So I've hidden these slides. Historically, what would happen is if I wanted to unhide these slides, I'd go and right click again, and it would actually still say hide with a little selection. It was really hard to see. Now it just says unhide, makes it really straightforward that that slide has been hidden. And now when I click this, it unhides it. The sixth new feature is crop to shape in PowerPoint for the web. So I'm going to paste an image here in PowerPoint for the web. There's my nice TPS report. Now when the picture is selected, you'll see this picture contextual menu. Click here and you're going to see crop. Now when I drop this down, you'll see the new crop to shape. 
Now I can crop this image in all these different types of shapes. I'm going to choose a heart because you know, I love TPS reports, but lots of options for cropping images to shapes you can explore. The seventh new feature are improvements when you're copying between web PowerPoint and desktop PowerPoint or other platforms on PowerPoint like Mac. In this case, I've got a slide in PowerPoint for the web. I'm going to right click on the slide and I'm going to choose copy. Now I'm going to switch over to a desktop Windows version of PowerPoint where I'm starting a brand new PowerPoint deck. Here I am in desktop PowerPoint and I'm going to just do control V to paste. And there we are, that full slide is copy and pasted perfectly, the image, the text, everything. Historically, sometimes when you copy and paste between platforms, it would get a little bit janky. So this is updated and fixed, so now you can copy and paste between platforms with ease. The eighth new feature is replace all in PowerPoint for the web. So I have some slides here and I have example one, two, and three on all these slides. And I've decided I want to change the word example to EX period. So what I'm going to do is control F to bring up the find dialog. And I'm going to type in example. And now what I'll choose is replace. And there's a replace all option. So I'm going to say replace example with EX period. And I'm going to choose to replace all. Okay, all done, replaced 15 instances of example with EX period. And you can see on all the slides here, all of those have been replaced. The ninth new feature is Cameo in PowerPoint for the Mac. So I'm not gonna demo, but I've got some images. If you go to the insert menu and choose Cameo in Mac, it's gonna pop up the Cameo feature. Here's your camera preview in the upper left. You can also choose the camera shape. So I've chosen a circle here. You can use it in behind the scenes for your presentation notes and that's how it's gonna look. You can see yourself. And then you can also experiment with putting the camera on the right or the left or content all around yourself. This is rolling out for Office Insiders right now. The 10th new feature is a long requested one. It's also in PowerPoint for Mac and it's grid lines. So what you're gonna do is go to the view tab in PowerPoint for the Mac and there's a grid lines checkbox. If you check that on, what you'll see is the grid lines right here are appearing on the slide, making it a little easier to design nice slides. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.